what I love about fishing is the feeling of freedom. Nicholas never really liked to go out the boat with me. Lately, he said he wanted to come out and uh, experience fishing. So I make him a deal. I say, you teach me how to do photographer. I, I teach you something about fishing. Because of my job, before I retire, I travel a lot. There were a period of time that I really didn't spend much time with Nicholas. So this trip, it really is wonderful. Having a chance now to explore what I do as a photographer with my dad, it feels good because I think it gives him insight into what, I, what I've been pursuing this whole time. I know he's like this dangerous animal. He kind of reminds me of like this like adorable little puppy. You just want to give him little treats. Don't, don't put your head in there. <laughs> when I retired, I bought a boat and I spent a lot of time on the ocean. And I see a lot of sea animals like whale, dolphins, stuff like that. And I think it's so neat if I can capture those moments. So I keep bucking Nicholas. I said, well, how can I capture this kind of moment? I'm hoping we can get the technical aspect of photography down so that we can move on to things like composition and how to properly build an image. When I am trying to learn from him, I keep saying that now I'm not your dad now. I'm your student and I'm old. I'm not a young guy. You gotta be patient with me. My dad is a creative person. I think he just needs avenues to explore that creativity. So it's fun to see him get excited about how to be a creative person. So it's something that we can check. Nicholas never really very sporty person. He doesn't like to go out the boat with me when he was young. But lately he said he wanted to come out and experience fishing all of a sudden. It's nice to have some one-on-one -on -one time with my dad. We're more in his element now and today he really like surprised me. He's super patient. Teaching him is, uh, is experience because it's just like every uh, father and son. You tell him one thing on one side, they go out from the other side in a hurry. Just like the way he teaches me about taking pictures, I gotta start with what kind of skill he needs, right? What type of fishing he wants. Start with the basic, talk about all the technique. Growing up, I've never been the most patient person. I still have very little patience. You know, six hours in, we didn't have anything, and just as we were about to give up. It's a selfish. Wow. I'm getting away, I'm getting away. When I took the photo, when the fish jumped out of the water, my son was so worried that I don't know what to do. Well, he was so surprised he saw those pictures I told. He was so proud of me. He keeps telling me that this is like a one in a, a million thing. Like selfish is like golfing, get a hole in one. We weren't actually allowed to pull our amazing sailfish out of the water for scale comparison, but we did what we could and I still think it, it's, it's going to be an awesome memory for him. Today we are very lucky we, and the best part is my son got a sailfish. I got a smaller one, just exactly like what he asked this morning. He's, he told me he's going to get a big fish, I'm going to get a smaller one. It's okay. This is a trip of our lifetime. I encourage for guys like my age, if you get a chance to do something like this with your kid, go for it. You can always make up tons of excuses, but a trip like this have memories that last forever. I, I mean, I, I hate to be sentimental about these things, but it is, it is important. I can't wait to share these pictures with my family.